The blood of Jesus is a weapon of offense that is capable of destroying all the devices of the enemies and making the enemies incapacitated. Always engage the potency in the blood of Jesus to overcome the devil and his agents. You are welcome to our prayer channel. Here at Spiritual Warfare Prayer Network, we engage in warfare prayers against the wiles of the devil. For the word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. From now on, we will be adopting you into our prayer circles and be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is stay connected by hitting the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified whenever we drop any warfare prayer. Join me in declaring this blood of Jesus prayer for protection with unwavering faith. Father, I thank you for the victory you gave to me via your blood, which was made available for me on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for making me always triumph over the devil and his agents anytime I engage the name and blood of Jesus. I decree that the blood of Jesus shields me and every member of my household from every attack of the enemies. I decree and declare that the blood of Jesus protects me from all demonic oppression. The word of God in Exodus chapter 12 says that the angel of death saw the blood of lambs and bull on the doorpost of the children of Israel in Egypt, and they passed over. Right now I operate in a better covenant, which is the blood of Jesus that speaks a better thing than the blood of bulls and lambs. I decree that the angel of death passes over me and all members of my family this year in Jesus' name. By the efficacy in the blood, I decree that the blood of Jesus erases every mark of the devil on any part of my body. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the blood of Jesus redeems me from every generational curse and pattern that is impeding my progress in life in Jesus' name. I nullify the plans of the enemies against my life by the blood of Jesus. I decree that I and my household are free indeed, because Christ has made us free and we are no longer slaves to fear. The blood of Jesus heals and makes whole completely. I decree that all hidden sicknesses in my life be removed completely in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus always covers me and every member of my household throughout this year. The word of God says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. I decree that I and my household will totally triumph over the devil and his agents in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus always makes a way of escape for me and my family out of the devil's devices and plans. The blood of Jesus is at my disposal. I utilize it to the shame of the devil in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus saves me and my family always from every accident and destruction. I hide under the secret place of the Most High and I am not vulnerable to the devil and his agents' attack. I cover every member of my family with the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I cancel every plan of the enemies to frustrate all my efforts. I am exempted from all plans and attacks of the enemies. I hide myself and members of my family in the blood of Jesus from all snares of the devil and his cohort. I decree that I am never ashamed of using the name of Jesus when it matters most. The word of God and the blood of Jesus are my defense and my weapons of offense. I and my family are shielded by the blood of Jesus against all forms of attack. The enemies send our way to make us confused and frustrated in life. I decree that all the gathering of the evil ones against me and my family's progress be scattered as I mention the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I and my family are totally protected from the arrows the enemy will shoot at us. The word of God says that anyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I decree that I and my family hide under the secret place of the Most High, and we are safe and sound. I decree that I find solace in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus gives me and my household strength and vitalizes us when we are weak and tired. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive freedom and deliverance from all oppression of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus runs through my body and purges everything that is not of God in my life. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every negative statement I might have said to myself in the past that is working contrary to God's will for my life. I decree that I and my family work in the victory Christ has made available for us. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers for his word 
says that whatsoever we shall ask in his name, and not doubt, that he will do for us. Thank you Father, for answering our prayers in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Your family is God's precious weapon on earth, that he will use in enforcing his agenda. And this is the very reason why your family has to be in tune with what God is doing per time and season. The devil and his agents will try their best to frustrate the will of God for your family by causing confusion to make you think that God is no longer in the business of taking care of your family. But that shouldn't bother you. Rather it should make you stronger knowing that God is still in the business of doing miracles, signs and wonders in families. It is of utmost importance that you know God's will for your family is that it prosper and be in health. It is high time you pray to align your family to God's will for it. God's word says in Mark 11:24 that whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you have received them, and you shall have them. The effectual and fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. Your prayer will turn things around in your family, if you do that with faith. I need you to pray together with me for your family with a strong conviction, believing that the Lord will hear and answer us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you Lord for making my family live in peace, unity, and stability. I give you the praise for always providing for our needs. You come through for us in ways that are far beyond our imagination and expectation. Lord, I extol your name for never allowing the wicked ones to triumph over my family, and you always cover the nakedness of my family. Glory be to your name, Lord. Father, I pray that you forgive us in any way we have done things that are contrary to your will for us. I plead for your mercy over my family. Father, I decree that your will and purpose are enforced in my family. Your word says in Colossians 3 verse 14, Over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. I pray that there is love much more in my family. There is no more strife and contention in my family in Jesus' name. The plans of the wicked ones against my family will fall to the ground in Jesus' name. There will be no divisions among members of my family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 133 verse 1 says, How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. I pray for my family that all the members of my family will dwell in unity among themselves in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. The Lord will build a hedge around my family, and this will prevent the evil ones from having access to my family in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will supply all the needs of my family according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. I pray that the Lord will always lead my family to green pastures in Jesus' name. Where men have talked down on my family due to the present circumstances of my family, they will begin to celebrate my family in Jesus' name. Psalm 5 verse 12 says God encompasses the righteous with favor like a shield. I hereby pray that the Lord will cause my family to experience strange dimensions of favor that will beat the imagination of men and will make me amazed in Jesus' name. The path of my family is like a shining light, which shines brighter and brighter even unto the perfect day in Jesus' name. I cancel and put to null and void all the devices of the wicked ones against my family in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord in my family will make my family rich, and no form of sorrow will be attached to it in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that my family will begin to lay gold as dust in all ramifications. My family will be a perfect model for other families to emulate in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord will always be sufficient for my family in Jesus' name. I pray for all members of my family that they will discover the will and purpose of God for them in the name of Jesus. The good Lord will replace the garment of sorrow with the garment of rejoicing in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. As a believer, you need the blessing of the Lord in your family so that your family will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bears fruit in its due season. The word of God says that the will of God for you and your family is that they prosper and be in health. We will be praying to release the blessings of the Lord over our families. God's word in Exodus 23:25 says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water, and he will take away sickness from among you. 
The blessing of the Lord in your family will cause your food and drinks to be blessed, and it will also take sickness away from it. Join me as we declare this spiritual warfare prayer to enforce God's will over our families. Let's pray together in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for blessing my family with all the good things in life. Thank you, Lord, for never allowing us to be naked or stranded. We exalt your name, Lord, for blessing us with all the blessings in heavenly places. Thank you for giving us all that pertain to life and godliness. Psalm 23, 1 and 2 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. By the word of God, I pray that my family will always make the Lord their shepherd, and they will not lack anything in the name of Jesus. The grace of the Lord will always abound in my family in Jesus' name. I decree over my family that goodness and mercy will follow all the members of my family from this time forth and even forever in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 9.8 says, God is able to bless me abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that I need, I will abound in every good work. I pray for my family that the Lord will bless it abundantly, and it will be sufficient in all things at all times in the name of Jesus. I pray that my family will be willing and obedient, and will eat the good of the land in Jesus' name. I declare that my family will be a beacon of hope to other families, and the light of God in my family will shine for other families of the world to see in Jesus' name. Mercy, peace, and love will abound much more in my family in Jesus' name. Psalm 34 8 says that I should taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. I pray according to the word of God that my family will always taste and see that the Lord is good and my family will be blessed as it takes refuge in God in Jesus' name. God will be the strength of my family, and he will make the feet of every member of my family like that of the deer, and he will cause me to tread on great heights in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 15.6 says God will bless me as he has promised, and I will lend to many nations, but I will borrow from none. I will rule over many nations, but none will rule over me. I decree over my family, that it will lend to many nations in Jesus' name. I decree over my family that it is enriched in every way so that it is generous on every occasion by the power in the name of Jesus. I release the reign of abundance on my family. There will not be lack in my family in Jesus' name. I decree that God my Father will bless my family so that all the ends of the earth will fear him in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless my family with peace and will give it strength in Jesus' name. The love of God in my family will make it wax stronger and stronger, and no force will break that bond in the name of Jesus. The Lord will delight in my family and will always put a new song on the lips of every member of my family in Jesus' name. I decree over my family that God will work in my family both to will and do of his good pleasure in Jesus' name. The Lord will never withhold good things from my family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bestow favor and honor upon my family in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed Amen. The most dangerous enemy of believers is the enemy within their household. God's word made it clear in Matthew 10 verse 36 that a man's enemies will be those of his own household. This shows you that sometimes you might be troubled or distressed by family members who don't want you and your household to succeed in life. You have to engage in spiritual warfare and put this household enemies in their rightful place. God's word in Matthew 11 verse 12 says that from the days of John, the Baptists preaching until that of Jesus and even to today Christ, and those in whom he dwells suffer violence. Do not pity them because they will not repent. Remember that only the violent can take that which was stolen from them by the wicked ones who sometimes are household enemies. Also remember that God's word says in Job 22 verse 28 that you will decree a thing on earth, and it shall be established unto you, and light will shine upon your path. Utilize the authority you have in the name of Jesus to come against these household enemies. Join me with faith and declare this spiritual warfare prayer over your family to enforce God's will. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your love upon my life and family. I thank you for giving me and my household all that pertains to life and godliness. Thank you for showing yourself strong and mighty in my family. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray that all household enemies that are troubling me are arrested this instant. God's word in Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will contend against those that are contending against me and will fight against those that are fighting against me. In the name of Jesus, I engage the help of the Holy Ghost to fight against all the household enemies that are fighting against me in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you will rescue me from the grip of household enemies. Exodus 23 verse 22 says, If I will carefully obey the voice of the Lord and do all that he says, then he will be an enemy to my enemies and an adversary to my adversaries. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you will be an enemy to all household enemies that are troubling me. The Bible says in Psalm 23 verse 6 that God prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I pray that the Lord will keep on supplying all of my needs, even in the presence of my household enemies in Jesus' name. I decree that I will not be susceptible to the attacks of household enemies in Jesus' name. I will put on the whole armor of God, so that I will be able to withstand the wiles of household wickedness in Jesus' name. I draw a bloodline around all the members of my family against the attacks of the wicked ones in disguise as friends. I release the host of heaven to begin to fight against all the wicked ones that are disturbing the peace of my family in Jesus' name. The Lord will go ahead of me and destroy all the devices of the wicked ones that are stationed in my family in Jesus' name. God's word says in Exodus 14 verse 14 that the Lord will fight for me and I will hold my peace. I pray that the Lord's wrath will be revealed against all household wickedness in Jesus' name. I decree that I am safe and secured from the arrows household enemies will shoot at me in Jesus' name. I will keep on triumphing over the devices and schemes of the wicked ones positioned in my family in Jesus' name. I decree that I will be discerning enough to know all the household enemies that are disguising themselves to be good. God's word says in Isaiah 19 verse 2, And I will stir up Egyptians against Egyptians, and they will fight each against another and each other against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all household enemies troubling me will begin to fight against themselves in Jesus' name. I will be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove when dealing with the wicked ones that are stationed in my family in Jesus' name. Right now, I decree that the judgment of the Lord will rest on all household wickedness in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones in my family are rendered useless. All the divination, enchantment, spell, and incantation against me from household enemies will not stand in Jesus' name. We bless you, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers. For it's in your name we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, I urge you with the love of God to please like, share, and subscribe to Spiritual Warfare Prayers Network. Revelations 5 verse 12 says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is the Lamb that was slain for the sin of mankind, and His blood redeemed and justified man from death, sin, and the grave. The blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel speaks of vengeance, while the blood of Jesus speaks of redemption and love. You need to realize that the blood of Jesus is weaponry in your arsenal, and you need to harness it in enforcing God's will for your life and family. God's word in Revelation 12 verse 11 says that they overcame the devil, the old serpent, by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. In line with God's word, it is high time you enforce the victory that you have been given by using the blood of Jesus. Join me with unwavering faith and declare this blood of Jesus' prayer of protection over your life. Let us pray. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and family. I pray that the blood of Jesus will cover me from the attacks of the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I appropriate the blood of Jesus against all the forces of darkness that are warring against me and my family. The blood of Jesus will neutralize the devil and his cohorts attack against me in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus that was shed for the sin of the world will heal any member of my family that has one ailment or another in Jesus' name. By the potency in the blood of Jesus. Right now, 
I begin to plead the blood of Jesus over all that pertains to my life and family in Jesus' name. When the angel of death saw the blood on the doorpost of the Israelites, he passed over. By the reason of the blood of Jesus, I decree that the angel of death that has been sent to cut short the life of any member of my family will pass over, and he will not hurt anyone in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus breaks foundational curses. I pray that the blood of Jesus will begin to break all strange patterns and curses in my life and family in Jesus' name. God's word in Ephesians 1 verse 7 says in him, We have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of his grace. I therefore pray that the redemptive power in the blood of Jesus will save all members of my family that are yet to be saved in the name of Jesus. My robe will be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Nothing will contaminate my holiness again in Jesus' name. As a result of the blood that was shed, all my sins that I am still feeling guilty for are forgiven, and I walk in the forgiveness that has been given to me in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus will brush the enemy's head that are bent on frustrating all of my efforts in Jesus' name. I will no longer be scared, because the blood of the Lamb has given me the boldness to come against the powers of darkness in Jesus' name. God's words in Hebrews 12 verse 24 says, And to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood, which speaks better than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus, which speaks better thing than the blood of Abel, will save me and protect me from the wicked ones that are plotting my fall in Jesus' name. I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt me from falling into the traps and pits of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I and members of my family are insured by the blood of Jesus against sudden destruction and catastrophe in the name of Jesus. I pray that the blood of Jesus will wipe off all the evil marks of the enemies that are upon me and my family in Jesus' name. I decree that that which was stolen from me is restored in a hundredfold by the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree that the blood of Jesus will protect my family from evil strangers that want to intrude on the peace and unity of my family by the power in the name of Jesus. All the things that are not planted by God in my life are purged out of me by the blood of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus as a currency in purchasing all the hidden treasures of darkness for me and my household in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for answering our prayers. Amen. God's word says in Exodus 14, verse 14, that God will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. Our Father is the Lord of hosts. His name is Jehovah Sabaoth and he is a master at fighting for his children. The battle is the Lord's, so you do not need to worry yourself about the number of people that are against you, because he that is with you is more than those that are against you. Rest in the salvation of the Lord. He will never leave you alone to fight against the wicked ones that are against you. We will be engaging the name of the Lord Almighty to fight against the wicked ones that have devised our hurt. Join me in declaring this warfare prayer with faith. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will begin to fight for me, and I will hold my peace. I decree, Lord, that you will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 1 verse 30 says, The Lord my God, who goes before me, he will fight for me, according to all he did for me in Egypt before my eyes. I pray that God will go ahead of me and begin to fight my battles in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the wicked ones that are gathered against me will feel the wrath of God this very moment in Jesus' name. I release fire from the throne room of God to consume all the wicked forces that are subtly at work in my life and family in Jesus' name. I cancel and destroy all the agenda and devices of the wicked ones against me in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all the forces of darkness that are manipulating any member of my family in Jesus' name. I engage the ministry of angels, and I send them right now to begin to wage war against the wicked ones that are plotting evil against me and my family in Jesus' name. I decree that I am more than a conqueror against all the forces of darkness that are gathered against me to cause me sorrow and anguish in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 52 verse 12 says, For I shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before me, and the God of Israel will be my near guard. 
According to the word of God, I decree that the Lord will go ahead of me and war against demonic forces that are frustrating the will of God in my life in Jesus' name. All the wicked ones that have come against me in one way shall flee before me in seven ways in Jesus' name. The Lord God will go before me as a consuming fire, and he will destroy the enemies around me and will bring them down in Jesus' name. Isaiah 49 verse 25 says, that the Lord will contend with those that contend with me. By reason of the word of God, I pray that the Lord will begin to contend against the evil ones that are warring against me and my family in Jesus' name. The Lord will be my refuge and my hiding place against all the onslaught of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. I will no longer be scared of the devil's devices against me, as the Lord will always render his devices impotent in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the Lord will give me strength to resist all the devices of the wicked ones. I will be empowered to submit to God and to resist the devil. And as I do these, I will always be victorious against the devil and his cohorts in Jesus' name. I build a wall of defense around my life against the attacks of the evil ones in the name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble me. I decree in the name of Jesus that God will repay with tribulation those who trouble me in the name of Jesus. I will always wait on the Lord. And as I do this, he will save me from the mouth of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The Lord will curse all those that are cursing me in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will avenge me of all my adversaries in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will cut in pieces the cords of the wicked in my life and family in Jesus' name. From today, I will no longer be afraid of the evil ones, for the Lord is with me, and he will deliver me in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will guard my feet, and all the evil ones gathered against me shall be silent in darkness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God's will for your family is that there will be peace, love, unity, and joy in it. Your family can only experience some of these things I mentioned if our Lord Jesus is the center of it. This is why it's important to align with God's will for you and your family in this perilous time we are in. There is nothing that can make your family not live in peace and harmony, except you permit it. The mandate of God for your family will need the cooperation of all members of your family for it to materialize. God's word in 3 John 1 verse 2 say that the wish of God for your family is that it prospers and be in health, even as it flourishes. The ability to confess all that you want for yourself and your family is in the power of your tongue. You have to engage in spiritual warfare prayers to enforce God's will for your family. Remember God's word in Job 22 verse 28 says that you will decree a thing, and it will be established and light will shine upon your path. Join me in this spiritual warfare prayer to enforce God's will over your family. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my family. I am grateful for your faithfulness and mercy that abounds in our family. I am saying thank you, Lord. I exalt your name, Lord, for the good things you have done for me and my household in the past, what you are doing presently, and what you will still do in the future. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will always be the center of my family in all situations and circumstances in Jesus' name. Your word says in Psalm 133 verse 1 how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. I pray Lord that my family will live in unity, whether the devil like it or not in Jesus' name. Your word also says in Ephesians 5 verses 25 to 26, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church. I pray that I will learn to love my spouse, just as Christ loved the church. I pray for my family that the Lord will keep it in perfect peace and will garrison it with stability in all ramifications in the name of Jesus. I decree that there is financial stability for my family. My family will never languish in poverty in the name of Jesus. I decree that the love of God will serenade my family in Jesus' name. I release the judgment of God upon the wicked ones that don't want my family to function as a unit in Jesus' name. I decree that my family will hunger and thirst for God 
every day of its existence in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you will preserve all members of my family from all evil in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will fight against the evil ones that want to cause instability in my family in Jesus' name. I build a wall of defense around my family, and I decree that the forces of darkness will not penetrate. There is no room for strife, conflict, and confusion in my family by the power in the name of Jesus. God's word says in Psalm 46, 1. That the Lord is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. I pray, Lord, that you will always be our refuge and will strengthen my family in trying times and will also make a way for my family out of every trouble in Jesus' name. All the members of my family will learn to cast their burdens on the Lord because he cares for them. I pray that all the members of my family will function well in their respective roles in Jesus' name. I decree that my family will not be complacent about walking in the will of God for them in Jesus' name. God's word says in 1 Peter 3.11, They must turn from evil and do good. They must seek peace and pursue it. I decree and declare that there is no room for evil to reign in my family, and there is peace in my family in Jesus' name. I frustrate all the agenda of the evil ones to cause confusion and disunity in my family in Jesus' name. My family will never retrogress. Rather, it will make rapid progress in all ramifications in Jesus' name. The Lord will keep on watching over my family every day. All the things that were stolen from me and my family are recovered sevenfold in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The word of God in Psalm 121, verse 7 says, The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. I am here to assure you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The enemies might come against you and your family in one way, but they will flee before you and your household in seven ways. Do not be afraid of the plots of the evil ones, because all their plots will fall to the ground. No matter how they might strategize, be rest assured that their plans will fail them because God is for you, and therefore nobody can be against you. Join me in declaring this spiritual warfare prayer against the attacks of the evil ones in your life and families this instant. In the name of Jesus, I send confusion into the camp of the enemies that are gathered to attack me and my family in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I engage in spiritual warfare against the wicked ones that have come against me and my household. All the evil ones that have come against me and my household in one way will flee before us in seven ways in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28, verse 7, that the Lord will cause my enemies who rise up against me to be defeated before me. They will come against me in one way and flee before me in seven ways. I pray for my family that the Lord will cause all the enemies that are gathered against us to be defeated right before our eyes in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Joshua 10, verse 19, that I should pursue and attack all my enemies from the rear, for the Lord has given them into my hands. I decree that I have received the strength to pursue, overtake and attack all my enemies because God has handed them over into my hands. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will contend with those that contend with me. He will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. I hereby call on the help of the host of heaven to fight against all enemies that are gathered against me and my family in Jesus' name. The Lord is on my side. Therefore, I and my family are safe and secured from the attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1, verse 19, that the wicked ones will fight against me, but they will not overcome me, for God is with me to deliver me. I decree and declare that all the wicked ones that are attacking my family will not succeed because the Lord is with me. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. I pray that I and every member of my family will always be hidden in the strong tower of the Lord. And as we hide there, we are all safe from the attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. Psalm 27 verse 3 says that even though a host encamp against me, I will not fear. Though war rise against me, I will still be confident. I decree that no matter how many they are that are gathered against me, I will not be afraid because he that is for me is far greater than they that are against me. 
The Lord will strike all the wicked ones that are plotting against me with blindness in the name of Jesus. I pray that I and all members of my family will continually put on the whole armor of God, and this will help us to be able to withstand the wiles of the enemies. The Lord will arise and scatter all the enemies that are gathered to attack my family in Jesus' name. I release the wrath and judgment of God upon the wicked ones that are plotting my hurt in the name of Jesus. The Bible in Psalm 68, verse 21, says that God will surely shatter the heads of my enemies. I pray that the Lord will begin to shatter all the heads of my enemies round about me in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Psalm 143, verse 2, that in God's love and kindness, He will cut off all my enemies and destroy those who afflict my soul. I decree that the Lord will destroy all my enemies that have sworn not to eat or drink until they see my downfall in Jesus' name. The Lord will help me and all members of my family to jump over the traps the enemies have set for us. We will not be afraid of the devices of the enemies in Jesus' name. I pray that I will know the plans of the wicked ones to attack me and my family, and I receive the wisdom to thwart their plans in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, Amen. There are altars erected by the evil ones against you and your family in order to send evil things that are contrary to God's will and purpose for your family. The altars that are set up against you and your family are not bigger and stronger than the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that is in your possession. God's word says in Philippians 2 verse 10, At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Utilize the power that is in the name of Jesus today in pulling down all the demonic strongholds of the enemies. Remember that God's word in Job 22 verse 28 says, You will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established unto you, and light will shine upon your paths. You have to come against these altars by faith and with boldness. Join me in declaring this prayers with faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pull down all demonic altars erected over me and my family. I pray, Lord, that all illegitimate altars that are projecting failures and delays in my life are scattered in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 1 verse 10 says, See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and break down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I begin to break into pieces all the evil altars erected over me and my family. I destroy all their devices and I uproot all the evil things that are contrary to the will of God for me in Jesus' name. There is no other foundation laid, other than that which was laid by the Lord Jesus. I therefore decree that any other foundation other than that which is laid by the Lord Jesus in my life and family are dismantled in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord will fall and roast all the evil priests that are legislating over evil altars the enemies are using to project evil into my life in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, Every plant that my Father has not planted will be rooted up. I hereby begin to uproot all evil plantations in my life and family in Jesus' name. I hereby send the angel of the Lord to break into pieces all the altar of wickedness set up against me and my family in Jesus' name. I release any member of my family that is under the bondage of evil altars in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will fight against all the wicked ones that are in charge of evil altar against my life, and I will hold my peace in Jesus' name. Anything that has been stolen from me by the priests of evil altars are returned back to me in sevenfold in Jesus' name. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Right now I pray that I am energized to pull down and dismantle all the altars of the wicked ones in my life and family in Jesus' name. My strength will not fail me in warring against the oppression of the wicked ones against my family in Jesus' name. I will stay at the altar of the Lord God, instead of being held captive by the altar of wickedness in Jesus' name. I am God's battle axe and his weapon of war. I therefore begin to dismantle the altars of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. Leviticus 26 verse 30 says, I then will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and heap on the remains of your idols. 
for my soul shall abhor you. This is the word of the Lord against the wicked ones and their altars, and it will stand whether they like it or not. The altar of the evil ones will be exposed, even if it is subtly in operation in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will destroy all idols that are subtly in operation in my life and family in the name of Jesus. I will wait patiently on the altar of the Lord, and not the altar of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. I hereby decree that an end has come to all forms of demonic manipulation that stems from the activities of evil priests that are legislating over evil altars against me and my family in Jesus' name. The name of the Lord Jesus will be exalted high above all altars in my life in Jesus' name. I decree that I will not unconsciously service the altar of darkness in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for answering all our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God's word also said in 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. It is expedient as a believer for you to seek the Lord with all that is within you. Seek the Lord while he is still near. God loves people that seek him wholeheartedly just like King David in the Bible. For you to seek God wholeheartedly, you will need the help of the Holy Ghost. We will be asking for God's help to seek his will at all times. The word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. I need you to join your faith with mine and say this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you Lord for giving me a heart that yearns after you. I give you the praise for loving me first, and I know that I have received the ability to also love you in return. Matthew 6 verse 33 says that I should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added to me. I pray that the kingdom of God will always be my first priority, and I will be dedicated to please God at all times in Jesus' name. Father. I pray that you help me to seek you wholeheartedly, no matter the situation. Father, I pray that you give me a heart that longs and chases after you at all times in Jesus' name. Your word says in Psalm 14 verse 2 The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will look down from heaven upon me as I seek the Lord wholeheartedly and diligently in Jesus' name. As I seek the Lord diligently, the Lord will reward me handsomely in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that I will not be discouraged by prevalent situations around me from seeking the Lord diligently. Proverbs 8 verse 17 says that God loves those that love him, and those that diligently seek him will find him. I pray that I will learn to love the Lord right and well in the name of Jesus. I pray that in all the things I do, I will seek the Lord without any ulterior motive in Jesus' name. Amos 5 verse 4 says, I should seek the Lord so that I may live. I pray that as I keep on seeking the Lord, I will find life in all areas of my life in Jesus' name. I decree that the Holy Spirit who is my seal of promise till the day of redemption will flood my heart with the love of God, which will make me seek God diligently and wholeheartedly in Jesus' name. I decree that I will not be distracted by any external forces from seeking the heart of God in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that no matter the devil's agenda and plots against me, it shall not stand because my heart will be garrisoned with the love of God. I hereby separate myself from all worldly entanglements that might distract me from seeking the Lord wholeheartedly in Jesus' name. I will dwell in the presence of the Lord all the days of my life in Jesus' name. I decree that nothing will be able to separate me from the love of God in Jesus' name. I release myself over to the will of God. The will of God will supersede mine in the name of Jesus. I pray that no matter the storms that I will face, they will not make me stop seeking God. Rather it will help me soar and climb up higher to the presence of God in Jesus' name. Psalm 119 verse 2 says, How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I decree that I am blessed and favored as I seek the Lord diligently in Jesus' name. 
The laws of the Lord will give me utmost pleasure and satisfaction at all times in Jesus' name. I release peace and joy of the Lord into my heart that will make me stable despite all that is happening to me which might want me to shift focus from seeking God to seeking what I want in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you Lord for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Do well to like, share and subscribe to Spiritual Warfare Prayers Network. God bless you.